good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying the start of our adventure. We have so much more going on. Today, we're traveling to the Tulsa, Oklahoma era. I think it's about a six hour drive. I'm not even really sure, and I don't even know exactly what we're doing, but I know it's gonna be awesome. So, I think it's gonna take us just about this long. And we are here in Oklahoma. Look at how beautiful it is, and we're staying at a very special place, but I'm not gonna show you it today. Tomorrow's vlog is gonna be all about where we are staying and where this animal actually presides. Lori's gonna kinda have one of her dream comes true. She's gonna get a chance to check out a Corvette collection and actually drive. Trust me, it's gonna be really epic. There's some stuff that's gonna be crazy, but tomorrow's vlog, oh, just wait till you see this place. Out of control. Many of you guys may not know this, but Lori's dream car happens to be a Corvette. She's always wanted one since the day that we got together. And today, she gets to at least fulfill her dream driving some pretty badass Corvettes. And of course, it's these two here. Now, <laughs> these guys are far from normal Corvette. You ready for this? Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. Okay, let's do it. I gotta be honest with you guys, I've done a lot of crazy things in my life. This may be the most terrifying thing that I've ever done. Lori, please don't kill me. Okay, go ahead. literally scared to death right now. Literally, I'm getting out of this death trap. I'm gonna let Lori do this on her own. Lori, I love you, please don't die. Okay, bye. What'd you have it up to? 160. 160? <laughs> what? She got it up to 160. Oh my god, I was literally crying. <laughs> it was going so fast. Oh, 160 you did. She did 160 miles an hour. What the hell are you doing? Keeping the engine on. Are you? That was amazing. <laughs> you are, get, get in there. You are done. Lori, holy cow. I oh cannot God, believe. That was so awesome. I cannot believe you did that. Oh. I saw you. All I, I love this. all I know is I saw you zip by and I go, she's going really fast. <laughs> oh my God! Literally, like tears just streaming out of my eyes. So I cannot believe you. <laughs> what were you thinking? Oh my god, I was thinking this is amazing. Like it felt like you were going for it. But well, no, no, I was so we did No, it was so smooth. It's just Lori. like within a matter of seconds, ram, you Lori. are from 40 to 150. And it was just amazing. Uh, you don't want to lease this model, you want to buy. Alright, so it's about to get real. Lori, you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I don't know how she doesn't get scared. Like I'm I'm afraid for her. <laughs> So Lori had a chance to play with her cars and her need for speed <laughs> and she scared the living crap out of me. But now we enter my world. This is the part of the day that I look forward to. We're actually at a place called Safari Joe's, which is actually a water park. You can see like there's slides and there's all kinds of crazy stuff here. So we're just gonna check out some cool reptiles for now. The thing that's cool about tortoises like this is as soon as you get in here, they just start coming over towards you. Look at they're like, hey, you got some food for me? Look at how cute these little guys are. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, bud. And these guys are really cool because this is pretty, I mean, they can get a little bit larger than this. Remember, I did see one over in China that was absolutely huge, but most of the time they stay relatively small, kind of like this size. So 
for a tortoise if you don't want something that's like monstrous, like like Speedy's eventually gonna get. These guys are a good example. I love places like this. Oh my God, guys, look at, take a look. It's an albino Burmese python, and its name is Sunshine. <laughs> that's so cool. I wonder, let's see if we can take it out, huh? I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, to be totally honest with you. No one's here, and <laughs> I'm just kind of opening up gauges, but take a look at this girl. Whoa. Yeah, she looks great. Come here, girl. Come here, sweetheart. Yeah, that's always the smartest thing to do when you don't know what's going on, just reach in and grab it. But she just looks beautiful. Ah, oh, take a look at how beautiful she is. She's gorgeous. Again, this girl's name is Sunshine. How awesome is that? Lori can run around in her need for speed all morning. This is where I want to spend my time. That's a neat animal. All right, so guys, let me know down below in the comment, would you rather walk around with a beautiful snake like this, the albino Burmese python, or would you rather drive a Corvette at 160 miles an hour? And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, I'd rather do both. And that's true, it probably would be cooler to do both. But if I had to choose, I'm choosing this beautiful albino Burmese python. You guys know that I'm an animal nut, and, and you guys know the backstory of the fact that it's just been kind of my whole life. So as an animal guy, Joe, I mean like, what is, why is it? I mean, were you just born with it or, or did you develop it? Because you know I mean, what, all uh, animal people have that story. If you ask my mom, she's, she'll, she'll tell you that I was born with it. I mean, <laughs> I was out looking, turning every rock over and snakes and lizards ever since I was little and going out the creek and catching crawdads, you name it. And just as I got older, I just, I mean, I always had a snake. I always yeah. had a snake with me all the time. <laughs> and then just as time going on, I had, I got the opportunity to get more into the exotics like tigers and lions. So I rescued a couple of those and then it just kind of expanded and went from one tiger to Hundreds, literally hundreds of animals. Take a look at this guy. These things are so cool. Yeah, it's a good looking snake. It's awesome. So Steve, what's up with you, man? How long have you been here? Oh, uh, I can't really remember. I started when I was eight. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's like, <laughs> look at that. That is uh, slave labor right there. I love it, that's perfect. Guys, take a look at this guy here. This guy's named Godzilla. And Godzilla was actually a rescue. You can see he has kind of a little bit of a, a probably a vitamin deficiency that probably wasn't being taken care of as well as he should have. But here at uh, Safari Joe's Reptile World, they're taking care of him beautifully now. And just take a look at him. Look at how he just like loves getting petted. He's so into people. I mean, you know, iguanas aren't actually the best of pets per se because they typically get big. A lot of them get a little bit cage defensive. But uh, man, this thing is absolutely awesome. So there you go, guys. Got Godzilla. Hey, look what you have over here. <laughs> I love the little alley. Come here, buddy. Look at it. It's like a little tiny RJ. <laughs> I love alligators. I mean, look at how cute he is. That thing is absolutely adorable. Again, you know, Lori loves her Corvettes and her cars and all that other stuff. I mean, I mean, I think they're pretty cool, but I'd spend the day with an animal like this any time of the day. So uh, as much as it's been cool running around and doing really wild stuff here in Oklahoma, I tell you, being around animals, that's what I live for. This is obviously a cockatoo. But the thing is, an interesting story, I walked in the building and the first thing that this bird said, not knowing its name, is it said, Shorty. And I thought it was talking to me. I said, what is this bird's problem? Turns out its name's Shorty. It's a beautiful bird and now I like it again. So guys, it's been an amazing time here at Safari Joe's and Reptile World is awesome and their sanctuary and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put all their social media links down in the description. Make sure to give them a follow because they were so cool to us. As for Shorty, I might have to put them back or I might try to sneak out with them. Although Lori had an amazing time with all of these vets, the guy that's hosting us, Tommy Thompson, was nice enough to invite us over to his personal private car collection. So we're heading there now. Part of the trip that I've really been dreading, and of course, that's when I have to drop Lori off at the airport. So I'm going to be solo for the next five or six days, and Lori gets to go home and be with our puppies and everything else. And work. And yeah, yeah and she does need to work. <laughs> but regardless, now I'm unsupervised. You never know what's going to happen, but I can tell you one thing that's not going to happen. I'm not going to go 160 miles an hour in a vet. 
I know. I probably won't get above 70 in any car <laughs> that I'm in the rest of the trip. But regardless, we're on our way to the airport, dropping Lori off. Okay, so the moment of truth. I've got to say goodbye. <laughs> I love you. I miss you so much. I know. I miss you too. Well, what am I going to do without you? Okay. Safe travels. Call me when you're there, okay? I'll be up. Bye. Well guys, it's sure gonna feel a little lonely, although I do have my little guy over here to keep me company in this 30,000 square foot house all by myself. I'm already missing Lori. Regardless, this was a pretty amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, but the adventure is far from over. Tomorrow morning we have some really cool stuff, then I head to Dallas, and then the whole adventure starts over again in the state of Texas. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. Be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.